Uh, my name is Dr. Roger Berg. I'm Associate Professor of Chemistry and Chair of the Natural Science Department, and I want to welcome you to our ninth annual Chemistry Demonstrations Program. Uh, you are the first group to uh, see this at night. We've already presented this in part, uh, Parents Weekend, and we presented our first program to uh, middle school last Thursday to Northeast Middle School to about 85, 90 students middle school. And we will be presenting uh, the program again tomorrow to Lansdale Catholic. We're very excited about this year's program. We have new presenters. We have uh, a number of new presenters, uh, sophomores and juniors. Uh, we started preparing this program uh, the first or second week of uh, class. And as most of you know, we begin uh, the last part of August. And so we started in August, and we've had about a month and a half to prepare the program. Uh, what you're going to see tonight is not something that we bought. You cannot find a book, you cannot find a CD, you cannot find a volume of chemistry demonstrations which have along with them appropriate music and PowerPoint slides and skits. It's not available, at least we don't know if it's available. And if it were to be available, we'd probably have produced it. Because uh, I don't know of any college or university in the country, let alone, well, on this side of uh, the United States, that does the kind of program we do. Now, the number one reason why do we do this is educational. Uh, we started this nine years ago when we entered this building for the first time, so the building is in its ninth year. And the purpose at that time was to present a chemistry demonstrations program for education of high school students. We realized that the program was very appropriate for uh, middle school as well as uh, elementary school. And so we changed our versions uh, depending upon the audience. We started with uh, eight or nine presentations in the fall and realized very quickly that we could not meet the need in the valley. Uh, this year we're presenting 11 of them this semester. We're going to take a break uh, around Thanksgiving and then wait until uh, March of next semester and then do another 11. Uh, by the time April or May arrives, we will have been, we will have presented this program to over 2,000 students. I don't know of any program in the country that presents this kind of program to 2,000 elementary, middle school, and high school students for the benefit of education. At the same time that students are learning, uh, we give them some excitement, some fun, some enjoyment so that the science is interesting. Everything you're going to see has been uh, done by our students. I'm very proud of our students. I'm very proud of the students whom I teach. I'm very proud of these students. They work very hard. Uh, they don't realize too much of a benefit. Uh, every once in a while, a student takes it for three credits. But other than that, uh, they do this. Why? Because they love science. And uh, they're very excellent and right people. <laughs> that is, uh, they have a lot of energy to give. And you're going to see that excitement in their uh, body language. You're going to see that excitement in their voices. You're going to see that excitement on their faces. And we always say, if you're exothermic, we'll be even more exothermic. So we want you to give us a lot of energy because we'll throw a lot of energy back to you. We're going to change our format this year. Instead of introducing the students, we have a slide presentation of uh, who those students are. But also, we have a program, and I hope all of you have a program. Do you have a program? You do have a program. And so if you look at the first page, the first page has the 12 demonstrations that we are going to perform, that we're going to present. Each one of those demonstrations, there is uh, a list of the topics, the main topics in chemistry and physics and physical science that we cover in the demonstration. Uh, each demonstration has a PowerPoint uh, with it to give you the details of the demonstration and the explanation of the demonstration. There is music which is appropriate to the demonstration, and so think of the title and how that title fits with the demonstration, and in some cases there is a skip. And so we not only have chemists up here, but we have cooks up here, and we have actors up here, and some of them, some of them, like Johnny V, is going for an Emmy. <laughs> On the second and third pages are the pictures. Uh, we spent a little money this week to give them to you in color. We don't normally do that, but we give them to you in color. 
There's a blurb there for each one. It was written by a student. Uh, I wish I could take 5, 10, 15 minutes and talk about each one. But uh, by the time we end, the game will be over and none of us will see any of it. And we won't see any of the show. So uh, we're going to forego that. And then on the last page, actually the, the, uh, the fourth page, uh, Jason Zuber is there. And then on the last page, uh, the faculty, along with the history of the program. And so I invite you at the end of the program, or sometime uh, later, read the history of the program and how this program has transformed in the nine years that we've done. I want to introduce some people, though, who are very important uh, to this program. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce the man to my right. Uh, this is Dr. Fred Mayville. Uh, he is in his... Uh, Tenth year, uh, he still remembers. Uh, he's in his tenth year. He's a great colleague. He's on the other side of the fence, so to speak. He's on the uh, organic side of the fence, the dirty side of the fence. Okay. Uh, he teaches organic chemistry, nursing chemistry, biochemistry, uh, toxicology. He introduced a new course last spring for the first time. He with uh, Dr. Catalone, forensic toxicology, and it's a new course in our forensic science concentration and uh, it went well. He's also teaching a course for the second time or third time, this coming, uh, third time this coming semester, Advanced Organic. Uh, in addition to teaching those courses, he uh, does a great deal of research with students. He has uh, something like the same number of students doing research as he's been here, 10 students or 11 students, 12 students. And uh, he's gonna take his students and my students to, uh, the National Meeting of the American Chemical Society in San Francisco in March. And some of those students are going to give a poster presentation. Uh, my student gave, gave one last year along with uh, two or three or four of his students last year. And we hope the same thing. It's a great opportunity for students. Last year the students went to Salt Lake City. Uh, this year going, they're going to uh, San Francisco. And I want to thank Dr. Mabel for that because uh, some of us have to work and some can go to California. <laughs> Dr. Mayville. Another introduction is a uh, uh, lady in the back, uh, Mrs. Patricia Hartman. Uh, she is with us the third year. Uh, I can't tell you how much we have transformed uh, for the better in chemistry. She's our chemistry laboratory manager. We have done some great things in, uh, on the chemistry side of the house to improve our laboratories to improve our storage facility to improve laboratory safety. Uh, and uh, Mrs. Hartman is primarily responsible for many of those advances. But she's also extremely helpful to the students in providing the students and getting for the students all the equipment, all the chemicals that they need. It's not an easy task. She has to do a lot of uh, ordering on the phone. Uh, she has to uh, make arrangements for uh, bills to be paid, and so if it weren't for, for the efforts of Mrs. Hartman, uh, we probably wouldn't be as organized as we are today. Uh, so give Mrs. Hartman a big round of applause. <laughs> I thought there would be more than uh, this, this person. The last person whom I want to introduce to you is, uh, and where is he? Uh, where is Alan? There he is. Um, Alan Olson was with us uh, last year and the year before. We really miss him. Uh, he is dynamic in uh, what he does and uh, how he presents. Uh, he can't be with us this year because of the commitments to the medical studies program. Uh, 